Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And as you guys can see by today's thumbnail, we're gonna be comparing some Audio Technica microphones, comparing the Audio Technica AT2020 to the AT2035 to the AT4040, and finally the AT4033. <gasps> So when it comes to Audio-Technica microphones, for me, these microphones always do the job. When it comes to the AT2020, it's a microphone I've had for the last at least two or three years. And for vocal recording acoustic guitar, it's just ticked the box every single time. But when it comes to these other Audio-Technica microphones, I haven't used them ever. I haven't compared them ever. And it's gonna be quite interesting to see which microphone you should get for your home studio setup. So to jump straight into things, the first microphone that I have here set up and ready to go is the Audio-Technica AT2020. Costing around $100, I must say in my opinion, this is the best budget condenser microphone on the market today. Coming in a nice black, clean, classy design and a build quality with a solid metal casing that's really exceptional for the price. When it comes to what you get in the box when you purchase this microphone, you don't only get the stand connector, but you also get a bag for on-the-go travel and some paperwork to finish it off. And then last but not least, in terms of frequency response, for this budget price, I must say it is quite flat, but because you are looking at under $100, the Audio-Technica AT2020 does have a slight tinny noise to it, which you won't see in more expensive microphones, but for the price, it is definitely the best sounding vocal microphone you can go for. Now, the next microphone that I have here set up and ready to go is the Audio-Technica AT2035. And coming in at around $150, this microphone does have a similar look to the Audio-Technica AT2020, where it's only just a little bit bigger. But in terms of the basic clean black look that it comes with and the metal casing, these two are pretty similar. When it comes to what you get in the box, you still get the pouch for on-the-go travel and the paperwork, but this time instead of a stand connector, you do get a shock mount, which is a nice addition. And then in terms of frequency response, this microphone is a little bit more flat than that of the AT2020, with still a slight bump up on the high end, but overall it is a good sounding vocal microphone, and as I'm speaking now, this is what the AT2035 sounds like. Now, the next microphone that I have here set up and ready to go is a slight jump up in price. And the microphone that I'm talking about is the Audio-Technica AT4040. This microphone will cost you around $300. And in terms of look and design, it is definitely an upgrade from the AT2035 with a few more details, just a sleeker overall design and definitely a better build quality as well. When it comes to what you get in the box when you purchase this microphone, you get a nice shock mount connected to a microphone stand, and instead of a pouch and carry bag, you actually get a case now, so it does feel a little bit more premium and a little bit more classy, especially if you're going to be packing away this microphone in a cupboard or something like that. When it comes to the frequency response of the AT4040, it is quite flat and actually quite similar to the AT2035 with just a few bumps up on the high end, but overall in terms of sound quality, it's definitely a good microphone to go for. And the final microphone that I have here set up and ready to go is the Audio-Technica AT4033. This microphone will cost you around $400 and it does come in a similar look and design as the previous AT4040, still looking clean and classy with the all black finish and a very good build quality with the metal casing. When it comes to what you get in the box when you purchase this microphone, you get a shock mount to connect it to a microphone stand and you get a case instead of a bag or carry-on pouch. When it comes to the frequency response of this microphone, it is quite flat with only a few bumps, but overall I must say in terms of good vocal recording quality and sound, this is definitely a great microphone and a good option to go for. So now that we've gone through these microphones in terms of a basic talking test, what you get in the box when you purchase one, what you're looking at in terms of build quality, frequency response, overall look and design, it's time to move on to my favorite part of these comparison videos and that is the singing test. She 
said hello mister please to me your I want to hold you I want to kiss you She smiled at Daisy she smiled at Daisy's She drives me crazy she drives me crazy I'm going to take you for a ride on a big jet plane I'm going to take you for a ride on a big jet plane Yeah Yeah Now, for my final take on these Audio-Technica microphones, I firstly have to say that overall I am quite a big fan of the microphones that Audio-Technica make. I've always had the AT2020 and it's always done a good job for me. And I think that at the end of the day, whichever microphone you do go for, you're going to be happy with the results you get and it's going to do the job for you every single time. When it comes to the AT2020, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I do think it is the best budget option to go for. It's so good sounding, it gives you everything you need and it also just has such a good build quality for a hundred dollar microphone. When it comes to the AT2035, it is a slight jump up with only a few additions like the roll of attenuation switch, maybe a bigger microphone overall. But in terms of sound quality, it is really, really good for only $150. And if you have that extra $50, why not? You get a shock mount as well, and that is going to help you get better recordings when it comes to doing what you need to do in a home studio environment. And then when looking at the AT4040, this microphone looks really good. I really like the look and design. I love the sound quality. I love what you get when you purchase this microphone. And again, if you have the money, this is a great option to go for. And it can also be very versatile, coming with a roll of an attenuation switch as well. And then last but not least, the AT4033. This microphone is one microphone that I've always wanted to test and always wanted to compare, especially to the AT4040. And like I mentioned, they both sound really, really good for vocal recording. And I must still test them on acoustic guitar and things like that just to test the versatility that way but overall the look what you get when you purchase this microphone the sound quality it ticks all the boxes and at the end of the day whichever audio technica microphone you go for i promise you won't be making a mistake so that brings this video to an end of my audio technica microphone comparison between the at2020 the at2035 the 804040 and the at4033 and just a reminder that if you're interested in any of these microphones the link will be down in the description below if you have any questions about today's video just leave a comment down below and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can but other than that thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up and if you loved it subscribe down below and i will see you for another video next time